Hello guys, this is Shweb Yaqub. I am the subject specialist of advanced financial management. In this video, we are going to discuss that how to solve over the counter interested swaps. Over the counter plain vanilla interested swaps. How to solve plain vanilla swap with the other party? Let's learn with the help of, of an example. Firm A has a credit rating of triple B and is about to arrange a loan of 10 million pound. It can obtain this loan at either a fixed rate of 9.25% or a floating rate of LIBOR plus 1.5%. So in exam, examiner will not specify the preference of the party in which that party wants to borrow. You have to decide that which should be the preferred rate in which variant company should borrow either in floating or fix. Firm A has approached a swap dealer with a request to arrange an interested swap that could potentially lower its interest cost. Firm B, another client of the swap dealer is about to raise the same amount priced at a floating rate of LIBOR plus 0.5. It shall be provided at a price of 7.5 if it wishes to raise the amount on a fixed rate. So the fixed and floating rate of party A is given, the fixed and floating rate of party B is given. Firm B has a credit rating of double A and has made it clear that it would be willing to enter into a swap agreement if two third of the potential swap benefits are passed on to it. So the firm B is demanding two third of the potential benefit of the swap. Illustrate how the swap dealer can proceed with the arrangement with the swap fee being 0.1% from each party. So whenever there is a question of swap, first step should be to make an arrangement of swap structure. Like you will write fixed rate of both party and you will write floating rate of both parties. So I am leaving some space for the main performer starting with the first working. This is workings. Step number one. Write the name of both party. Firm A. Firm B. Write the fixed rate. And write the floating rate of both parties. The fixed rate of A is 9.25 and LIBOR plus 1.5. 9.25% and LIBOR plus 1.5%. And the fix of B is 7.5% and LIBOR plus 0.5%. Now made different swap structure. Combine the fix of A with the floating of B. So when you combine 9.25 with LIBOR plus 0 0.5, it will be LIBOR plus 9.75. And now combine the floating of firm A with the fix of firm B. That will be LIBOR plus 9%. There is no problem if you write LIBOR plus 9.75 in the above cell and LIBOR plus 9% in the below cell. There is no problem. So identify the cheaper structure. So number one step is write the name of the both firm, write the fix, both fixed rates, write both the floating rates. Now make a swap structure by combining the fix of one party with the floating of other party. Then floating of first party with the fix of second party. Make two structure. Identify the cheaper structure. So you have identified LIBOR plus 9%. And if the selected structure is LIBOR plus 9%, that will be LIBOR plus 1.5 and 7.5. So in this case, you will write that Company A will borrow at 
फ्लोटिंग रेट लाइबर प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड कंपनी बी विल बोरो एट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फिक्स रेट नाउ एंड यू विल राइट दिस इन द अब परफॉर्मा एंड दैट विल बी फर्म ए फर्म बी borrow from bank so company a has borrowed at liber plus 1.5% company b has borrowed at 7.5% so that is the number one step so in number one step you will write the name of the firms you will write the fixed rates you will write the floating rates you will make two structure of the swap by combining fix of a with the floating of b and the floating of b floating of a with the fix of uh, b and identify the cheaper structure and make the companies uh borrowings at the selected cheaper structures so the company a will borrow at floating company will b will borrow at fix and the saving will be 0.75% now step number 2 distribute the savings that will be firm a firm b saving will be 0.75 into 1 over 3 and for the b it will be 2 by 3 because b has requested that b party will only be willing to enter into a swap if the b party receive 2/3 of the same 2 over 3 convert these into percentage okay now step number 3 net saving calculate deduct the fee fee is 0.1% from each party so the net savings will be step number 4 in step 4 you will calculate the answer and that is after swap cost after swap cost and when you write step number 4 remember that in step number 4 you will do exactly what you have done in step number 1 in step number 1 company a has borrowed at the floating rate but in step number 4 you will calculate after swap cost so company firm a answer will be at fixed rate because if company has already borrowed at floating rate its after swap answer will be at the fixed rate if company b has already borrowed at the fixed rate its final answer will be at the floating rate so guys whenever you write the step number 4 when you write this statement after swap cost go to step number 1 and recall that at what rate you have borrowed for the firm a for the firm a you for the firm a you have borrowed at the floating rate so here your answer will be at the fixed rate that is 9.25% but obviously you have get some you have got some savings uh, from the swap that is 0.15% so your net after swap cost will be 9.25 minus 0.15 9.1% and again i am telling you whenever you want to do step number 4 when you write after swap cost go to the step number 1 and recall what you have done in the step number 1 for firm b in step number 1 you have already borrowed at fixed rate if you already borrowed at fixed rate now your answer will be at the floating rate that is liber plus 0.5% but because of the swap arrangement you are getting saving of 0.4% so your cost will be liber plus 
zero point one percent. So guys, you have calculated your final cost, your final answer that is after swap cost nine point one and labor plus point one. So here your answer will be after swap cost that is nine point one percent and for it liable plus zero point one percent okay now write the fee above zero point one percent zero point one percent and here it will be swap cost before fee before fee swap cost and this fee is already included in this after swap cost so in order to get the before fee swap cost you will deduct this fee from the final answer so it will be nine percent and it will be liber now this is receive from other party and this is pay to other part receive from and pay to okay now in order to fill these four cells you have to take the assumption and what is the assumption of examiner examiner always assume the party which has already borrowed at floating rate the party which is paying floating rates to its bank will receive liable from the other party remember the assumption guys the party which has already borrowed at the floating rate the party which is paying floating rate to its bank will receive the liable from the other party so firm a will receive the liable and obviously firm b will pay the liable if this is the case this will be the balancing figure and that will be 7.5 percent if you cross check it your answer will be matched and that's how you will do the swap structure so guys the number one step write the name of the firm write the fixed rates write the floating rates make the two swap arrangement combine the fix of a with the floating of b combine the floating of a with the fix of b identify the cheaper structure and make the companies uh, boring in those particular cheaper structure then take the difference of these two structures identify the savings distribute the savings calculate the net savings and in and in step number four you will do exactly the opposite of step number one if firm a has already borrowed at floating rate in step number one your final answer will be at the fixed rate and if firm b has borrowed in step number one in fixed rate in step number four its answer will be in floating rate so remember this rule that after swap cost will exactly be opposite of the first step in which you have borrowed initially but in first step if any company like firm A has borrowed at floating rate, its after swap cost will definitely be uh, at fixed rate. But remember to deduct the saving from this cost because now your cost will be lower because of the swap. So that's how you will solve the interest rate plain vanilla swap. So for, for practice, you can attempt question from past exam paper, cashy company and CMC Cashy Company and CMC Thank you so much guys